Franklin Huntress did not apologize for what happened three decades ago, but both his victim and victim's mother talked about the damage his actions have done to them. Thirty years after he was abused by a then Episcopal priest, Monday the victim got a chance to tell Franklin Huntress about the pain he has caused. It is WMUR's policy not to identify victims of sexual abuse. As a direct result of the defendant's actions, I have struggled with alcohol abuse, drug abuse, self-harm, relationship issues, sexual issues, flashbacks, and suicidal considerations. The victim was just 14 when Huntress, an Episcopal priest, brought him from New York to Manchester for an event. Huntress admitted to two assaults that happened in January of 84 and April of 85. The victim's mother also spoke, talking about how Huntress violated the trust she had placed in him because he was a man of God. My memory of kneeling at the altar and taking communion from you for the remission of my sins with the same hands that you were using to abuse my son makes me literally sick. Last Friday, Huntress pled guilty to two counts of simple assault, and Monday was sentenced to 12 months, all suspended, as long as he stays out of trouble. The county attorney's office says they would have liked to see him some jail time, but there were problems. It's very difficult to prosecute a case where the allegations are as old as these were. And that ultimately, this case was about getting Huntress to admit his guilt for the victim's sake, something the victim acknowledged with his final words. Well, ultimately, I may never entirely wash away the stain he has left behind. I feel like today I am one step closer to achieving this goal. The victim's mother considers herself a Christian and says she tried to find it in her heart to display compassion and forgiveness for Huntress, but she said some sins are unforgivable. Reporting in the studio, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.